Guys, it's summertime. It hit in like a day and a half. It went from raining and 70 degrees to 100 degrees overnight. So I shed the clothes. Yep, you get to see all the all the ink. It's all good because we're all friends, right? I am just amazed. In two weeks, the uh, the headset shootout video has gained over 7,000 views. 7,000 of you guys have watched that episode. Thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. I This is why I do it, is so you guys can have something to watch that's kind of cool and not real pretentious, you know, whatever. We've all had it. You turn on the radio one morning and you get some strange sound that you just can't identify. Some of us have a scope and we can see it. Just bang, bang, bang. Either that or some sweeping noise or the huge out of control monster noise and now the hunt is on what do we got to do to find noise my solution comes in the form of one of my older handhelds but you can use an old am fm radio uh, anything with a tuner that'll tune down into uh into the, those lower bands and you and it's basically your direction finding and your hunting for your bad signal. Well, the easiest thing is, is to start turning things off and unplugging things, because normally it's a wall wart. I'm gonna show you how I found out. So RF noise, this can be the bane of your existence. If you live in, oh, hell, you could live anywhere, in the city, in the country, uh, it could be your electric fence. It can be your washing machine. It can be those stupid little wall warts that we've all got hanging out all over the house. So now that you know that you've got a noise problem and you want to fix it, how do you do it? Well, all you really need is a uh, cheap little AM FM radio or uh, in my case, I'm using the old ICOM IC92AD handheld. So when you're looking for your problem, you want to use a radio that you could tune into the band that you're looking for the problem with. My problem was on 7.155, so I wanted to check that frequency. All right, you see those little horizontal lines that are running through the screen? Well, they're going to correspond right now with the tick, tick, ticking noise that you hear coming out of that handheld. Okay, now we're listening to a monstrous sound coming uh, on the lower sideband frequency right into the bandwidth that I'm tuned to. These are two entirely different types of uh, RF interference and uh, noise generated from appliances in my house. I'm going to show you one more here. I traced this real annoying sweeping noise to a battery charger I had plugged into the garage charging the wife's car. This super big noise uh, was generated from a photographic light that I've got in the shack because I'm also using it as a studio to make videos. Okay, and remember that annoying little ticking noise that we had at the beginning? Well, that is your typical wall wart. And look what happens when you unplug the wall wart, the sound, it just goes away. Hey, I don't know. Maybe your noise problem is a whole hell of a lot worse than mine. I'm not a scientist. The science guys, the Bill Nye guys, even when they start talking, because they start talking RF this and that and, and the waveforms and all this other bullshit, I don't get it. All I know is I got a noise. I want to make it stop. You know what you may have to do? You may have to go out 
turn off the main, plug your radio into a generator, and run it for a couple of minutes. See if your noise goes away. If your noise goes away, it's at your house, you could fix it. If it doesn't go away, you got to start looking elsewhere. Somewhere at the neighbors, uh, you know, some TV or something that a neighbor has. It could even be the power company with a transformer with, a, you know, something bad inside that transformer and they just don't know it yet. So, good luck with your noise problem. You'll have them. They'll spring up from time to time. And here's a quick little way to try to fix them. So the guys over at QRP Works sent me their newest little toy called the Sidecar. This thing is, well, it looks very cool. I'm going to learn how to use the thing and expect a full review. What they say it does is two lines of text, logging for, what, a thousand, uh, a thousand contacts on there off your KX3. You plug this into your KX3 and it will, it decodes CW, PSK31, and RIDI. It also has functions to uh, send a ton of CW, PSK, and RIDI messages. I'm gonna try this out at field day. I'm gonna learn how to work it, and I'm gonna do a full review on this thing. I'll let you know, is it worth it? So guys, I told you, these are gonna be, it's gonna be a short little show this time. That's it. <laughs> like the video, if you like it, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. But you know what? Have some balls and put your name down there and tell me what you don't like. But subscribe, because the weather girl is coming. Oh yeah, you don't want to miss the weather girl. What the hell is that behind me? What the hell? Oh, it's, fuck. It's the red light. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3. Remote system linked.